How is everybody doing today? And as you can see, we're going to be doing the all-time great MLB franchise. So basically, what we're going to do is we took the... We're going to take the Chicago Cubs just because they're my favorite team. But we took a roster from the Bolt and... Um, I went through and tried to pick one that didn't use the same player on two different teams. Um, so you, there's no A-Rod on like the Rangers and the Yankees, or there's no Barry Bonds on the Pirates and the Giants. And I also tried to find one that just used a crazy amount of players. So there's like a triple A, a double A, a single A, the full MLB roster is all um, great for each team so if you guys want to see some more videos like this make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and also in the comment section let me know some other videos that you guys would like to see that are similar to this i know a fantasy draft was something that you guys have mentioned so i'll definitely try to do that and um i know i know i know i know it's been a couple weeks since i brought up the um the zero overall franchise series i'm working on a roster for that and bringing down every single player to a zero overall takes a really long time so i've been working on a roster to kind of figure out what i wanted to do with it so once you see the roster and like like what i did with it you'll understand why it's taking a little bit but i know it's taking a little bit longer than it should so let's let's not worry about that right now let's worry about this video and let's hop into it so we're gonna we're not gonna allow trades by the cpu um because I don't want the teams to get changed up right away, but we're gonna we're gonna hop into this. So regular season right away, and we'll quickly go through each team, just the um, the rosters, so you guys can see it. I'm not gonna go through each player like individually, like here's their stats, but I'll I'll kind of quickly glance, you know, through each you know MLB, Triple A, single uh, Double A, so you guys can see how every um every team looks so if you guys need to pause it at any time to see a, a rating or a, a, a stats up top you know feel free to pause it but let's let's hop into this so the cubs you guys can see lee smith bruce Suter, cap anson who's got a pretty sweet stash but fergie jenkins and all this stuff so you guys i'm pretty excited to see how this is going to play out you know who's going to make the playoffs who's not going to make the playoffs what players are going to play really well um and i'm just gonna leave it as is however the cpu fits uh feels fit for it um there's some players in there you know zambrano mark grace um you know that i, I loved watching when i was growing up uh zambrano was a little bit of a hothead but you know rick sutcliffe i don't you know so there's some names of ramos ramirez that i you know haven't really thought about for playing for the cubs in a while but definitely players that i enjoyed watching growing up ramos ramirez zambrano Kerry wood uh, mark pryor players like that so you guys can see that's the cubs we're moving into the reds now you know johnny bench joe morgan pete rose um i think they made him an outfielder just so he could get in barry larkin or roll this chapman um but like i said kind of backtracking a little bit i'm really excited to see you know who's gonna win the world series who's gonna make the playoffs who's not gonna make the playoffs because you know with the all-time greats there's a lot of good players in, on each team so anything can really happen so I'm, I'm really i'm really excited to see what happens i definitely think you know like the giants and the um yankees and the red Sox are going to be pretty big teams um, but there's also a couple other teams that have had a lot of good players you know play for them throughout history so the teams are looking pretty stacked some teams don't look as stacked as others the brewers being one of them they definitely don't have um, too crazy of a roster compared to other teams. But, you know, it's it's still pretty interesting to see some of the names. You know, Fernando Villa. Um, I saw Prince Fielder on there. Um, Gene Segura, who now plays for the Mariners. But Ricky Weeks. You know, so there's, there's some pretty interesting names to see in here um, for each team. This is probably going to be the longest portion of the video just because I want to show you guys every single team. But like Honus Wagner, Roberto Clemente, the Pirates definitely have a solid team as well. Ralph Kiner, Stargell, um, and if I pick the roster that allowed players to be on two teams, Barry Bonds would definitely be part of this Pirates team. Um, Jason Kendall's there, Dave Parker. Um, so there's, there's, I, 
the the Pirates are definitely a team that I could see um, being pretty good. I definitely could see them pushing for the central, um, the, the, the top of the central. So moving into the Cardinals, another strong team. Bob Gibson, you got Musial, Poole Holes, Ozzy Smith. So another team, like I think the central is pretty strong besides the Brewers. Sorry, Brewers fans, but you know, it's just when you look at everything else, it's just there you look at every other team it's just not as strong you know as every you know just it's just not as strong but what do you guys think about some of these rosters that you've seen so far who who's your favorite team who is your favorite player to watch growing up who's your favorite player now um i can tell you randy johnson was one of my favorite players i thought byung hyun kim was a pretty interesting player to watch he had a crazy um pitch release he was a submarine thrower but um it's just it's just crazy to look back at these rosters and see oh man this guy played for my team or this guy i forgot about him when he played um in the majors so i accidentally hit the bumper there but you guys can see all these teams um but like randy johnson was just a crazy good pitcher and you know it's like Unless people are like, oh, let's bring an immortal into MLB. I don't think a lot of people talk about Randy Johnson that often. But looking at the, uh, not the Diamondbacks, the Rockies now, you guys can see the teams here. Um, Andres Galarraga, Dante Bichette, um, Charlie Blackman's made it. Vinny Castilla, quick little fact. Um, him and my dad grew up playing on the same team in Mexico. So that was, you know, when my dad told me that, I was like, no way. It's kind of cool. But... Dexter Fowler is there, Julius Chassin, DJ LeMahieu, um, and then the double-A roster there. So looking at the, the Dodgers, you got Gagne, um, Beltre, Mike Sosha, uh, Kershaw, Jackie Robinson, Pee Wee Reese. I mean, the names are going to go on and on. Don Sutton, um, Triple-A, Kenley Jansen's there. Koufax, saying all these names is like drying on my mouth. Dusty Baker. Justin Turner was there. So it's it's just so many like crazy names. Jonathan Braxton, Jose Offerman. Uh whoops, 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 whoops. Trevor Hoffman, Tony Gwynn, Adrian Gonzalez, Benito Santiago. Like it's pretty cool. Mark Kotze, Andrew Kashner, Phil Nevin. Um once we get into like triple a and double a i'll start kind of just touching lightly on them but barry bonds is the big one i want to see what barry bonds does i want to see if he wins the mvp silver slugger hank aaron award i want to see him win it all um willie mays gaylord perry um but i definitely think the giants are going to be a pretty solid team like they're just like they're just a they're just a pretty strong team um chili davis is there um, just got fired by the Cubs. Um, Frank Robinson, Ripken Jr. is a big one there. Um, and then Satchel Page. Let's see who else. Book Powell. And then Roger Clemens. Now we're on the Red Sox. Carlton Fist, Ted Williams, Cy Young, Wade Boggs, Pedro Martinez, another one of my favorite players growing up. Manny Ramirez was definitely another big favorite of mine. Um, which you guys can see. I definitely think the Red Sox are going to be a very strong team. No more Garcia Parra. David Ortiz doesn't even make the MLB roster. Like, this is crazy. Um, the knuckleballer, Tim Wakefield. Koji Urahara. Kevin Euclid. So you guys can see how strong these teams are. Goose Gossage. Mariano Rivera. Babe Ruth. Um, Luke Gehrig. Alex Rodriguez. Or A-Rod. Yogi Berra. Mickey Mantle. Joe DiMaggio. Ron Guidge wrong with it ron guidry Derek jeter robinson cano like this is crazy um jorge posada bernie williams phew, solid team i think i saw alfonso soriano there um in double a but you guys can see the rays here Rays, another team that you know probably aren't gonna be too good compared to everybody else but still definitely some solid players there roy holiday for the jays roberto alomar david wells sean green carlos delgado i mean some of these players you know some are still playing but that's still pretty crazy crazy pretty cool to see that like they're considered some of the better players 
for you know for a franchise throughout history. Frank Thomas, um, Robin Ventura, AJ Przinsky. Um, a thing that I remember for Przinsky was when he uh, when he got in the fight with Michael Barrett, the catcher for the Cubs. I, I remember that so much. It was it was ridiculous, but it was just a great moment to see CC Sabathia for the the Indians. Um, a lot of players are on waivers, which I don't really think is something that should happen. But um, but that's another reason why I wanted to turn trades off because I want the rosters to stay um, the same for at least the first season. Maybe the second season we try to create like a super team and see how it how it uh, performs. But as you guys can see, each team here, George Brett, Saber Hagen, Granke, um, Johnny Damon's there, Joaquin Soria, Wade Davis, Salvador Perez, um, Alex Gordon, um, still playing. You got Lorenzo Kane, Bo Jackson. Uh, let's see, Joe Maurer, Burt Blylevin, Joe Nathan, Rod Carew, Kirby Puckett, Johan Santana, Tory Hunter. Definitely some big names there. Latroy Hawkins, a former Cub as well. Harmon Killebrew, Mike Trout, Percival, Francisco Rodriguez, Chuck Finley, Mike Napoli. Like it's just it's it's just pretty cool to see each player here and uh shown Viggins um and i think you guys are definitely going to enjoy this i think this is pretty cool to see what's going to happen with each team i think the a's are a definite um solid team as well and they definitely could do well like you can see an 89 is in their triple a you got mark mcguire miguel tejada jason giambi jose canseco's down there as well um moving into the mariners you guys can see you got ichiro felix hernandez um uh ken griffey jr i couldn't think of that name for a second which is pretty sad to think about pudge rodriguez for the rangers um mark Teixeira, ian kinsler nelson cruz josh hamilton um if he could have stayed clean i definitely think he would be a, a name we would talk about like he had so, he had power for days um billy wagner nolan ryan jeff bagwell craig biggio lance berkman altuve Oswald, Octavio Dotel, Joe Necro, not to be confused with Phil Necro, Michael Bourne, um, you got Hank Aaron, Greg Maddox, Eddie Matthews, Phil Necro this time, Warren Spam, Andrew Jones, Chipper Jones, Rabbit Marinville. Like it's just it's just pretty cool. I'm liking this roster. You got John Smoltz um, on Triple A. So I definitely think the Braves are pretty strong. Gary Sheffield. You know, with the crazy arm wag while he was up to uh, up to plate, up to bat. Uh, Steve Sishik, some pretty, you know, Dontrell Willis with the crazy wind up. Juan Pierre, who's just rapid. Um, Jose Fernandez is there. Antonio Alfonseca with six fingers. Gary Carter, Andre Dawson, Vlad Guerrero. You got Bryce Harper here. Delino De Shields. Let's see who else. Steven Strasburg, Jason Worth, and then no one, no one really big, uh, big in the minors or anything. But Mike Piazza, um, Carlos Beltran, David Cohn, Daryl Strawberry, David Wright, solid, solid team for the Mets. Yuena Cespedes was down there as well. Kurt Schilling for the Phillies. Chase Utley. Um, feel like oh yeah i was gonna say i feel like scott Rowland should be here but yeah he definitely is scott Rowland, jimmy rollins is a definite um name that should be there um uh, cole hamels is there lenny dykstra um move and then we're back to the cup so that's that's the entire mlb crazy all-time roster for each team and we're basically just gonna sim through the first season see how it goes and i'm pretty excited to see how it is Let's see. Let's just see how it happens. Let's see what happens. So, end of the season one. End of season one. You can see we we didn't make the playoffs. Um, and I, I like I was saying, I definitely think the Central was going to be a tough one. Um, Sammy Sosa had 52 homers and 136 RBIs. But we'll look at everything. Batting average. Vada Pinson um, of the Reds. You got Stargell, Jones, Schmidt, Cap, Anson of the Cubs. But had a pretty high average, but you can see a lot of 300 averages here. Hanley Ramirez, 
Bryce Harper almost 300 as well. And this is just the National League. Looking at the American League, you got Joe Jackson, Ted Williams, Babe Ruth had 54 homers. Holy cow. And 135 RBIs. Frank Thomas is up there. A name I didn't see, though, is uh, Barry Bonds. Um, hits. Pinson had the most hits. Um, you can see some of the names up there as well. Um, at bats, like, okay, all right. Doubles, Pinson. It looks like Pinson definitely hit the ball well. Willie Mays, Andrew Jones had a lot of doubles. Um, Carlos Beltran, Joe Morgan with the most triples. Fred Clark behind him with Jim Edmonds. Pinson again. Pee Wee Reese, Bryce Harper, Sammy Sosa. Um, Sammy Sosa, 52 homers, had a 255 average, 136 RBIs. Willie Stargell, Hank Aaron, um, Willie Mays. Oh, wait, I got to backtrack. I haven't even been looking at American League. Ted Williams, Babe Ruth, Joe DiMaggio. I can see the Yankees being pretty solid. Um, going back to at bats, you guys can see the American League there. Doubles, American League's up on the screen. Triples, again. Oh, Ricky Henderson. He had 26 homers, hit 278. Okay. 45 stolen bases. Homers went to Reggie Jackson, Mickey Mantle, and Babe Ruth all had 50. In the National League, there was only one 50 home run hitter. Barry Bonds only had 39, and he, he hit 292, 97 RBIs. Um... RBIs, you know, Mickey Mantle, 166. Whew. Reggie Jackson, 144. Sammy Sosa, 136. That's crazy. And you can see, like, the the, the American League definitely had a lot more ribbies there. Um, runs, 138, and then it goes down to 108. You got 138 for Babe Ruth, and then it went to 120, 118. National League. Stolen bases, Tim Raines had the most, the Shields had the second most in the, the National League. American League, Carew was first with Henderson behind him. Um, base on balls, Nelly Fox and Tony Gwynn took that on um, base percentage there. Willie Stargell for slugging with Mickey Mantle. OPS was Mickey Mantle and Willie Stargell. And now we're getting into the pitching. Let's see here. 19 wins was the best in the National League. 22 for Lefty Grove was the best in the American League. Losses was three, and so was it for the Amer uh, the National League. Saves, Tug McGraw with 58. Eric Gagne is a name up there. Trevor Hoffman, Lee Smith. Um, 52 for Dennis Eckersley. Mariano Rivera had 40. Okay, ERA, Ted Lyons, and Valenzuela. Maddox, um, Spawn. Kurt Schilling, Kerry Woods there, and then Cy Young, Clemens, there's some pretty, pretty solid, 19 home runs all year, 16 for Greg Maddox, 4 shutouts was the best in the National League, same with the American League, strikeouts 277 and 269, complete games 5 and 7, innings pitch Cy Young, and Grover Alexander walks, okay, okay, whip, Roger Clemens, Pitching War, Greg Maddox, and Walter Johnson. Batting War, Trout, Mantle, and Griffey. Pinson. Pinson was a monster this year. Like, holy cow. 330 on the year. Um, and then we're back to the averages. So, awards. Let's look at the awards. Gold Gloves for two players, Ron Santo and um, Ryan Sandberg. Willie Stargell got the MVP. And Mickey Mantle did as well. Okay. I mean... Makes sense. Cy Young went to Kid Nichols and Lefty Grove. Uh, let's see. National League batting title went to Pinson. Understandable. Like 330, 30 home, uh, 35 home runs and 103 RBIs. Definitely deserved there. Um, Ted Williams won it in the American League. He had a pretty solid season. Definitely did. Reliever of the year went to Dennis Eckersley and Tug McGraw. Vlad won Rookie of the Year, and so did uh, Kevin Seitz, Seitzer, Seitzer. Mickey Mantle won the Hank Aaron, and so did Stargell. Gold Glove went to Cook and Hamill. Let's see. Bench, Gehrig, let's see. Sandberg, okay. Santo, Brooks, Robinson, 
uh, Yount and Ripken, Williams and Rose, Ashburn and Puckett, K-Line and Wayner. Silver Slugger. Okay, okay. Some pretty big names there. Sammy Sosa won us a silver slugger and we, we're in the postseason now. So let's look at the standings. We missed the Central by seven games. The Brewers were in last there. The West, the Giants took uh, first by a game and then that's a big drop. 26 games. Uh, we missed the wild card by seven. The Braves had 103 wins for the wild card spot. Nuts. So we'll have to see how the East was. 106. What? And then 93 for the American League wild card. And the Yankees and the Orioles got that. The Athletics had 107 wins, 22 games above second place. The White Sox barely took the Central, and the Red Sox barely took the East. And then you guys can see the National League wild card again. So this, I was, I didn't expect the Cubs really to do much, but we're up. Uh, we'll uh, let's let's just advance a day. Let's see how it goes. Let's see who who takes what in the postseason we'll just we'll just kind of we'll, we'll fast forward a little bit um it's looking like boston and oakland versus the phillies and the reds let's let's just keep advancing phillies have a 2-0 lead boston and oakland are tied one to one phillies are going for the sweep right now and they are in to the world series boston and oakland still going on two to two three to two and it's three to three it's going to a game seven in oakland and philly i did mention that oakland's a pretty strong team so uh definitely definitely strong team so let's look at philly really quick you guys can see the team here and then the the bench and let's look at the a's because i mean they're pretty they got they're they're a pretty good team holy cow let's look at the pitching real quick for the phillies they do have Grover Cleveland. They also had Tug McGraw, who was like the saver of the year um, or the reliever of the year. And then looking at the A's, I mean, Lefty Groves, Catfish Hunter, Barry Zito. Okay, I can see why each team was in the World Series. And the Phillies, though, the Phillies, the, oh, in game seven, the Phillies defeated the A's. So let's. So guys, the Phillies defeated the A's in game seven of the World Series. So I hope I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was, it's a little bit sh like, it's not necessarily a rebuild. I kind of wanted to do a second season, but I thought um, one, we're gonna have to like sign a bunch of players. Free agency is gonna be a little tricky. And then with trades and stuff, it's gonna be kind of tricky. And then a lot of players retired because they were aging. And I really didn't put that into consideration. So I'm going to leave it here after season one. It was just pretty interesting to see these super teams go against each other. And I wanted to show you guys, you know, each team and see how it would play out in the playoffs throughout the regular season. Who would get what awards, who would perform well and whatnot. So you guys could definitely see it was it was pretty interesting. I definitely really liked seeing, you know, who did what, who performed well, who got most ribbies, who mo had most home runs, um, who made the playoffs, who didn't, and stuff like that. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as usual, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.